what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tatiana so today i'm gonna be vlogging for y'all and i don't actually know what i'm gonna be doing honestly um i did have an appointment at six it is kind of late in the day too right now it is 4 27 p.m but i was gonna um get my toes done because who they is looking bad so i have acrylic gel on my toes and I can't do it myself. I like I literally have to go to the shop for them to like take it off. Y'all know if y'all have gel polish, you gotta use like the little tool thing or whatever to take off your polish. It's not like the regular polish where you can take it off with the alcohol. So I had an appointment at six because they close at seven. But then my boyfriend just texted me and was like, let's go do something. And now I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do? He said the beach. But I'm like, it's already almost freaking five o'clock. Right now, I'm looking for my freaking, my Carmex for my lips. Because my lips is looking bad right now. And I'm not going to go back up there to the house. Oh, I'm going to just buy some. Because I don't feel like going back up there. I usually have it in this purse. Because I've been using this purse. That's crazy. I don't know why it's not in here. I got my lotion from this one hotel that I still have in this bag. Uh, somebody calling me. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Well, I was gonna go to Target really quick. And uh, where are you give me a to keep okay. All right. Bye. Y'all, yeah. yeah, this vlog is gonna be all over the place because we don't know where we want to go. I know what I gotta do, but. I can't go get my toes done at 6 and then try to go hang out because why my car sound like that? Yeah, I can't go do all that and then try to go hang out because it's still COVID around here. Y'all know. And they barely even want people to like freaking do anything. But I'm about to go to Target right now, I guess. Because I want to get some Cetaphil. Or no, not Cetaphil, y'all some CeraVe, Cera I think that's what it's called. I've been seeing it on TikTok, I've been seeing it on YouTube, Instagram. I think that's what it's called, CeraVe. Let me see. So I've been hearing good stuff about CeraVe. And y'all know my face, I be trying to get it clear, as y'all can see. And it doesn't make it any better because at work I have to wear those masks and it's just like, ugh. It just make my face break out even worse. But I'm about to go try that. I think someone on my Instagram, somebody that I know had asked, they have put a poll on their Instagram like, should I try this? Basically like, should I try this? And like, what's y'all thoughts about it? And I told them like, no, because I thought she was talking about Cetaphil. I don't like Cetaphil. Like, a lot of people be like, oh, do Cetaphil. Cetaphil is good for your face because it's not um, harmful or anything like that. Hopefully y'all don't fall because... Y'all know my setup sucks right here. But um, I was like, no, because it doesn't lather up. So hopefully Sarah V lathers up. I'm actually gonna watch or just Google it and see before I actually get into Target. Because I think it, oh, see y'all, y'all falling. But I think it doesn't um lather up. I think it's just like Cetaphil. But if it is, I don't know. I might not get it because I need something to lather up on my face. I just, I don't know. I just feel like my face is getting cleansed that way. If it's just going on my face and it doesn't lather up, I just feel like my face is not getting cleansed. That's just me. Like, I need something to feel like it's penetrating my pores. Like, y'all know what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to actually... I think it does lather up. Because I think I watched a video and somebody was, like, doing a tutorial on how they use it. And it was lathering up. But I'm going to just make sure. Because I know Cetaphil does not lather up at all. It's just like lotion. And I think you can use Cetaphil as lotion too. You can use it as lotion. Like a daily moisturizer. And you can use it as um, a cleanser. But I personally did not like that. I was like, uh, I don't know. This is not working for me. And I only used it for like. I used it probably for about a week. And I was like, eh. I probably could have used it longer and seen some results because I still hear like really good things about it. But I was like, nah, 
I don't like this formula. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to go into Target. And yeah, I will see y'all once I get to Target because this camera be dying really, really fast. And I only got one battery. I need to order some more batteries, but <sighs> they're expensive. And yeah. <laughs> So I will see y'all once I get in the parking lot. All right, y'all. So I made it to Target. Um, I didn't even look up the video that I was supposed to look up to make sure it doesn't like, make sure the Sarah V lathers up on my face. But um, where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. But y'all know I love me some Target because I just, I don't know. I can't do Walmart no more. Walmart is just too busy. You liable to run into your great, great granny at Walmart. And it's just like, no, not, mm-mm. I'm not trying to run into anybody. I'm just trying to shop and just get, literally get like one item or maybe the whole set because I heard they got a set of CeraVe. Let me see. Let me just watch really quick and see. I'm trying to see if they have one for oily skin because I have really oily skin. Uh, they probably don't. They say natural to dry or normal to dry skin. I don't know, we just gonna have to see when we get in there. But I'm thinking they would have one for oily skin as well. I need to put y'all on a tripod, and I think that's what I was looking for. Here it is. So let me put y'all on this tripod, and then we're gonna get inside of Target. Yeah, this stuff is so expensive. It is $15.99 for this CeraVe. Okay, this one say normal to oily skin, so I think this is the one I probably need to get. Is this one? And they have a little small one for you to try for like $4.99 or travel ones, but they don't have the normal to oily skin one. They only have normal to dry, and then they have the normal to dry. But that's the moisturizer. This stuff better work. Oh, and they also have the bar one, but I think that's nastier. I don't know which one to get. I'm probably going to get the big one. I hope it works. Just going to have to test it out. Because this is a lot of money. Oh, no, I think it's $10.99, not $14. I have no idea. I think it's $10.99. Okay, we're just gonna and then they got some other stuff up here like the pm pm facial moisturizer lotion but i use other stuff to um moisturize my face i guess i'm gonna just get this and then i also want to get um this silicone face scrub thing because i have that's better like scrub your face or whatever Okay, so the facial, um, the little silicone thing they had, it was like $30. So I'm gonna just stick to my regular little cleanser brush that I have. And then I'm gonna try this one out. Hopefully it works, I don't know. Cause it's either $15.99 or $10.99, but we don't see. Yeah, so I just got out of Target. And I got the CeraVe, so hopefully it works. Hold on, let me turn this car on cause it is super hot today. Like. Who is hot? I don't even know if y'all can barely see me. Not from this side. I think because the sun coming from this side. So let me put y'all right here. Okay, y'all could better see me. So I got the CeraVe. This is how it look. Y'all seen it in the store. So it's supposed to put, oh, it says it controls your oil right here. So hopefully it does what it says with three essential ceramides. Nice. Some, okay, I can't read this this little thing right here i can't read that the only thing i can read is it say hyaluric acid and i think hyaluric acid is good for your face right i think so i don't know but um so cleanse and remove oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier they got in a nice little bottle too i'm hoping this really works y'all and i'm not even gonna lie let me take this mask off i'm not even gonna lie who is hot and this camera needs to lighten up my face. There we go. Okay, so, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't, like, I be slacking sometimes and I do not wash my face, like, twice a day sometimes. I know that sounds nasty, but I have my days. 
so yeah but when i freaking how much i spent on this I'm gonna be freaking washing my face two times a day or if not even better three times a day and I didn't get the little um what do you call that the little silicone spin brush thing because it was $29.99 and I was like nah I'm good I could order it on Amazon or something it would be way cheaper the one that they had it probably was a really good brand or something and they just put a high price on it I don't know why I'm itching so bad right here in my chest. But I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. I should have got some cash back. Because I need to actually take my clothes to the laundry. I'm not my clothes, but my blankets. I'm not going back in there. So now I'm about to. Well, I was supposed to take my stuff to the laundry mat. And then go get my toes done. Um. So I actually need to go to Dollar Tree because I don't feel like going back into Target, honestly. Um, I need to go back to, or not back, but I need to go to Dollar General and get me some Purex laundry detergent because I ran out. Oh my gosh, my camera's about to fall. Because I ran out and um, I need to take these clothes to the laundromat. I think I'm going to go this way. It's just seemed much safer to go this way, even though it's the longer way, because I don't feel like having somebody hit my car because I was trying to be in a rush. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, no. Because I've had, had that happen before where I was in a rush and it didn't end up too well. So, sometimes you just got to take your time. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to Dollar General right now and go get some... Um, laundry detergent okay y'all so i'm in dollar general right now and i'm trying to figure out which one i want they have a small one right here for 450 it's only 75 full ounces and they have the big one for eight i think i'm gonna just get the eight dollar one because i don't want to come back and forth getting laundry detergent so i got the big eight dollar one and then i'm trying to figure out what else do I need from here? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm about to check out and then head to where I need to head to. Excuse me. That way people just looking at me. <laughs> I hate vlogging in public because people, they be like looking like, what are they, what are they doing? Like, lady, you don't understand I'm vlogging. Hi. Are you Hi. open? Yeah, I'm oh, open. Okay. Sorry. I was excited about something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> something work related. Oh. Welcome in. Yes. It is freaking hot today. So I forgot I had to get cash back for my nails just in case I go get my nails done. Because the dude told me he was like, it's $40. He either said 40 or 45 I think he said 40 Because the other place I was supposed to go to said 45 And I was like, uh, I'm going to save my $5 and go to the cheaper one. Yeah, I'm really cheap. But, um, yeah, he said 40 So, I got cash back. The thing about Dollar General, though, when you go there and get cash back, they charge you a whole freaking service fee. Oh! It is hot today. Hold on, let me untwist this and set y'all up. Cause, yeah, it is hot. I hate this little setup. Oh, and this car is so freaking tiny. It's time to upgrade her. I wanna get a, oh, I thought it was gonna cut off. I wanna get a new car so bad, y'all. I kinda want a Range Rover. Or I want a track hawk, but that's too expensive. And the Range Rovers are expensive too. I think the one that I was looking at, it was all black, and I think it was a 2020 or 2021, and it was like fifty thousand dollars. But that's expensive. The track hawk is definitely way more than that. So I was like, I would just better keep dreaming and hoping and praying that I can get a car like that. Hold on, let me try to hold it or put it like right here. It's probably better because you know what? I'm gonna just wait till I get to the laundromat. 
because this is not gonna work and I'm not trying to crash because I looked back at the footage when I was parked and I was like uh, that's a little shaky and I don't want it to be like that for the rest of the vlog so yeah I'll just see y'all once I get to the laundromat and put these sheets blankets in the washer and yeah okay y'all so I just put my clothes in the washer or not my clothes but my sheets in the washer and um I really need to run to Walmart right now because I need to dry my clothes and they only accept coins but when I wash them when I put them in the wash the little the washer when I put them in the washer they accept like my little card or whatever to just swipe but for the dryer they want you to have change and I'm gonna go to the mini Walmart because like I said Walmart is just too much for me I hate just walking in big stores like that and I know Target is big too but Target is not crowded Target is is different so even though they're expensive and I think that's why they're not crowded because Target is so expensive but um I don't care I'ma just stick to going to Target when I'm trying to get something but right now I'ma just go to Walmart Dang, I could barely see. I'm gonna go to Walmart, the little small one, because I honestly want a snack, and I don't buy my snacks from Target. That's just, uh, yeah. So I don't buy my stuff from Target like that. Not my food stuff. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't because it's just too expensive. Um, so yeah. And I was gonna record for y'all when I was putting my sheets in the washer, but it was like nowhere for me to put my camera up. So I was like, yeah. Not gonna get a good angle. So that's why I didn't record inside of the laundromat. It is so freaking hot today. This summer is gonna be so hot. And if they think that they can have people stay at home, they better think again because nobody is gonna stay at home, run their PGE bill up, and just sit around the house all day. Like, that's not gonna happen. I'm definitely gonna be working way more because what else can we do um I definitely want to like have some fun here and there but it's mainly just gonna be working and I'm taking some summer classes because why not oh y'all I have to drop one of my classes so I'm supposed to be applying to the program my RM program um next year in like February but now since I dropped chemistry it's gonna be pushed back a whole calendar year so i won't be able to apply to the program until 2023 i'll still graduate either this year or the beginning of next year when i graduate but i'll be done with all my classes and like can apply for my diploma y'all where is my head not my diploma <laughs> my degree i'm tripping i've been got my diploma heck of long ago in 2017 i don't know why i just said that but y'all get it i need to apply for my um degree my associate's degree and then i won't be able to apply for the program until 2023 because that's the program date um so yeah i'm retaking chemistry class and i'm so sad because that class was so hard like i literally was just doing that and work that's why i haven't been posting as much because i've been so busy with work and that freaking stupid chemistry class so i was stuck doing that and i was like you know what this teacher is not teaching me the proper way I'm gonna just have to drop this class. But I'm gonna get a W on my transcript. But I think I'm okay with that because I heard it's better to have a W on your transcript than like a D or F. And in that class, I had like a D and that class was over next month. So I only had like an exam and a final. Hold on, let me like, I can't. I feel like I'm shaking too much when I hold, when I hold my um, camera right there like that. But yeah, so I had like a D in that class like currently now well not anymore because i dropped the class but i had a d in that class like two days ago and i was like okay the only thing that can pull my grade up is either this exam coming up on the 21st or the final i have studied for them exams and every exam that i take in that class i get like a d or a c a really low c so I was like, I'm not even gonna chance it. I know I'm gonna, I just felt like I was gonna fail. Like, there's no way I can ace 
the next exam there's no way i could ace the final especially after getting d's and c's on all the other finals or not all the other finals but all the other exams that i was taking so i was like yeah there's no way i'm gonna just drop the class and save myself from getting a d or an f on my transcript i think that's better than getting i think a w is better than getting a d or an f on your transcript right i don't know but i'm gonna get a w on my transcript which i'm really not too concerned about i think that is better than getting than having a d or f on your transcript honestly um so yeah so i just dropped the class and i was like whatever i i need to take it with another teacher i just can't take it with this teacher anymore and heck of students had dropped her class anyway in the beginning of the semester she had like over a hundred over a hundred students and from the looks of it, it looks like over 60 people had dropped her class because she just cannot teach at all y'all like she is so horrible so and chemistry already is a hard like subject so i was like nah i'm gonna just have to retake it plus i feel like i know part of chemistry so my chances of getting a b or an a is much better in the summer like when i retake it so that's what i'm gonna do i got y'all everywhere because i don't know i just have y'all everywhere because i'm trying to drive and i'm trying to talk to y'all trying to get some good angles and the light is like going over here to my right and the light is over here now so yeah but um yeah i just dropped the class and i was just like i can't do it and that was the first class that i ever dropped in the freaking college at first i was sad about it but i'm just like whatever i got a better chance of getting a b or a next semester so i'm cool with it also i attempted to vlog i think i already told y'all and i was talking in that vlog i was talking about how i'm gonna be moving soon so yes i am gonna be moving soon and i'm excited and then i'm not really excited because looking for an apartment is very stressful like just waiting on a response is very stressful like with this apartment it took me a while to like find an apartment it took me well i won't say it took me a while it took me like a month i will say a month to find me this apartment that i'm in now and it's not the best apartment and the area that i'm in it's not all that good and that's honestly why i am moving because the area is not good um the manager i have a slum lord they don't even care about their tenants they're just collect money and they don't even they don't even care so i'm looking to move because of those reasons and it's so hard looking for a place in my budget especially for a one bedroom that's all i want i would love a two bedroom so i can make like a little beauty room and stuff like that um that's honestly one of my goals is to have a beauty room but right now i'm not stressed i'm still in school anyway so once i finish and make you know more and more money then i will you know get a place to where i can really afford a two bedroom but right now a one bedroom is cool for me and right now they want so much like every year they want higher and higher and higher i think last year they wanted like 900 for a one bedroom maybe 1100 but right now i'm seeing like 1200 for a one bedroom i'm seeing 1300 as high as 1500 1700 for a one bedroom and i think that's just crazy like who even pays that much for a one bedroom like you might as well just get a little duplex a condo or a house at that that's just too much and when i look at the square footage i'm like okay well they want this much let me see how like big the the place is they talking about 600 square feet 533 square feet and i'm just like yeah that's not gonna work at all because i'm not gonna be crammed up i'm already crammed up in my apartment that i'm in right now and my apartment that i'm in right now is like 533 square feet and i'm just i'm over it i need something bigger and i know one bedrooms are small but i have looked as far out as texas and texas will give you like a one bedroom twelve hundred dollars eleven hundred dollars and it'd be 800 square feet almost 900 square feet so i'm like nah california gotta do better like it's just too expensive out here and i really want to move to texas 
I want to move somewhere further out to where it's cheaper. You know, it's a nice area, area, <laughs> a nice area. But um, I guess I'm gonna let him walk because yeah, I don't want to get a point for hitting a pedestrian. Um, okay, never mind. I'm gonna go. Cause he's just staring at me and that's honestly weird so i'm about to go on the walmart right now mini walmart and i will see y'all once i get in there i just need to get some cash back because the laundromat only take quarters and that sucks but yeah i will see y'all once i get in there this lighting is actually perfect on this side Let me just tell y'all how hard it is to freaking vlog. Did y'all see me? I don't know if I'm answered or not. But, okay, so I went into Walmart for one simple reason. I went there to get cash back so I can have some quarters to dry my clothes. Right? So I'm looking around Walmart to see what I could buy for cheap. And I found some watermelon. So I just got me some watermelon. Which looks so freaking good. I'm going to just eat this. I guess while I go to the salon. Because it's all it's already 6 o'clock. Like, I feel so pressed for time. It's already 6. And I'm just like, what the heck? So now I can't run back to the laundry mat. And they'll get my toes done. And then go to the laundry mat and pick up the... Um, or dry the sheets. And then pick them back up. So let me put this in. And I'm going to tell y'all. Okay, so yeah. I get my watermelon. I use the self checkout thing, right? So I check out. I forgot to hit yes, cash back. So I'm like, dang, now I need to get something else. So I walk away and I grab me a Slim Jim. Or not a Slim Jim, but better than a Slim Jim. And these Tillamook um, pepperoni sticks, which is good too. But I wasn't trying to spend that much. Like, I'm just trying to get something cheap, you know, so I can get cash back. And their cash back was 20 and up. And I was like, dang. All I need is a dollar quarters, but okay, whatever. So, um, hold on, y'all. So much is going on right now. Like, y'all see how crazy my life is? Okay, so I forgot to get cash back. So I end up getting a little pepperoni stick and I get cash back. But before I get cash back, I'm checking out with my little beef jerky stick or whatever so i'm like where is my card and i start panicking i'm like oh hold up i think my car over there at the other register where i just was checking out at because somebody was behind me waiting to you know check out so i'm like oh my gosh and i see the lady walking away because she's done i'm like she better not have used my car i'm saying this all in my head like i forgot that i put my card back in my purse I'm like, wow, what the heck? And then I check out and they talking about $20 cash back and up. So I'm like, whatever, I don't have no choice. I gotta go to this nail salon and get my toes done. So it's gonna have to, you know, work out. I'll just put the rest of the money back into my account. Cause I'm trying to be really like a stickler on what I spend. I don't wanna just spend for no reason because I'm trying to move too. And I know, like, it's only $20. Like, if you don't have $20 to spend, you shouldn't be moving. It's not like that. I'm just trying to save as much as I can. And not, because I once I spend something, I feel like I go crazy. Like, I'd be like, oh, let me do this. Let me do that. I wasn't supposed to get my feet done today. But since I have gel polish, I can't do it myself. I have to go to the shop to, you know, get it done. 
to get it removed and all of that so i was like if i'm gonna pay for removal i might as well just get them done again and just keep them up and you know because i'm always on my feet standing on my feet anyway so i was like let me just do that one thing for myself it should be cool it's not an everyday thing and i usually be leaving my polish on for a whole month before i decide to change it so it's not like i'm getting them done every two weeks like i was getting my lashes done so i'm like okay it's whatever let me just treat myself because i haven't been doing that so yeah that's the only thing i'm gonna be doing is that's the only major thing i'm gonna be doing today is getting my toes done because they need to be done and i'm thinking about doing white i have pink on it right now pink on my feet right now but um i'm thinking about just doing my regular white like i usually do because they just look better that way and yeah i think that'll be best for me because if i decide to wear sandals my toes will go with everything but um yeah Hey y'all, so I just made it home and before I end off the vlog, I did want to try this CeraVe and show y'all just how it works and all that. Well, not how it works because I know it's going to take like a couple of days for me to start seeing results and stuff like that or improvement hopefully. But I did want to come on camera and just show you guys how I use it. Hopefully I'm using it right. I don't know, it just says in the back basically to wet your skin with lukewarm water. Massage the cleanser in and rinse it off basically just like any other cleanser. So yeah, I just thought I'd show y'all how I um, use it and yeah, then properly end off the vlog because after the clip that y'all seen me getting my toes done, I did go back to the laundromat and I just got my um, basically my sheets and stuff, my blankets out of the dryer. Or put them into the dryer and then got them out of the dryer and that was pretty much it like i said earlier i couldn't really like show the process of me washing and drying because it wasn't really a setup in there so yeah that was pretty much all i did was just go to the laundromat and i didn't show that on camera but now that i'm back i'm about to try this cleanser i'm actually super excited because this has been all over tiktok and everywhere and the spin the spin brush that i'm using is just this regular spin brush my brother had got this for me the one that I wanted to get was the silicone one, but that one was like $30 at um, Target. And I was like, nah, I, could th I think I could find it cheaper on Amazon. But I went on Amazon, it was like $25. So I don't know. I honestly want to do more research on those, but I did hear that the silicone uh, spin brushes were really good for your face. They're hypoallergenic. So I was like, okay, yeah, I need to probably get me one of them. But I'm going to do more research and figure out which one to actually get. Because they kind of look weird. Like, 
they look weird to wear. How do you even hold them in your hand? Like, I don't know. It's just the ones that are battery operated, they look kind of like weird. So I need to just do my research and figure out how to use it, which one I want and stuff like that. So, but yeah, let me quit talking so much and wash my face. I'm looking for my hair tie. I don't think I have one in here. Let me see if I can just push my hair back because I don't feel like getting one. And I'm about to just use the CeraVe. I was going to put the um, the cleanser on my spin brush like this. But I think I'm going to rub it into my face and then use the spin brush and, you know, cleanse it or whatever. Y'all get them in. So first let me wash my face or rinse my face because I never do that. Every time I apply cleanser. I never like rinse my face first and then put the cleanser on there. I always just apply the cleanser with the water and clean my face like that. But maybe I'm doing it wrong and I'm not really cleaning my face. I don't know. So we're just going to do it how the bottle stays. Okay, y'all, so this is how my face look after I cleansed it with the CeraVe. As y'all can see, my acne is, like, flaring up. But hopefully it works. I'm going to really try to stay consistent. I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to really stay consistent for about a week and see if I see any, like, results or anything like that. Right now, my face feels, like, super dry like it always does after I, um, wash my face. So, I'm going to go in with this. It's just some moisturizer from um, Shea Moisture. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so that's just basically what I'm going to do. Is just use this and moisturize my face. And that's it. Oh. My alarm. And it still smells so good. And it doesn't break me out. Not that I know of, but yeah, it smells so good. Alright, y'all. So my face is moisturized. For the rest of the night, I'm just about to eat me some seafood. Not really like, you know, crab and all that. Just some fish and some Texas prawns that I got. I might insert a picture so y'all can see if y'all are interested in seeing because I cooked it myself. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I do tend to vlog more now since my schedule is not so hectic. Um, school, The class that I'm taking now is not too bad since I did drop my chemistry class. So I tend to vlog a little bit more for you guys. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.